Welcome back, current and future rail fans. My name is Rowan. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be checking out switching action on Norfolk Southern Railroad. I'll explain more of it as we go through the video because this video is going to be narrated, which is a little bit different from my usual style. Usually I got that camera in front of my face. I'm kind of running and gunning, just shooting what I see and figuring it out as we go along. This video was a little bit more intentional. I shot it in April of 2020, right kind of during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic closures and shutdowns. So there wasn't a whole lot of work for me to do. There wasn't a whole lot going on either. So this is what I was doing, was sitting by the tracks, checking things out. So that's when it happened. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind is as you watch this video, you'll see it spread across two different days. This move that's happening is it right very close to each other and I couldn't jump from one location to the other and get everything that I wanted to get and you ex understand it. So you'll see it spread across two days and I'll explain the split. Now, you'll be watching switching action or shifting or shunting as it's called in different areas, regions and countries, okay? It's all pretty much the same thing. And that is defined as, let me pull it up here so I make sure that I get it accurate. Switching is a type of operation done on the railroad that consists of making up and breaking up trains storing and classifying rail cars, serving industries within yard limits, and other related purposes. These movements are usually made at slow speed under special railroad rules. So that's what we're gonna be watching. You'll get to see it. Again, Norfolk Southern Railroad, some cool action. It's a little long, stick with it. I'll explain it as we go, and I hope you guys enjoy it. In the first scene, we're at CP Allison at milepost 22 on the Norfolk Southern B line. This is NSK 94 now peeking out from behind the trees with two loaded center beam cars for Capitol Building Supply. Now the spur for that industry is an east facing spur, the train's currently facing west. So to get the cars into it, the locomotives will uncouple from their train, set the handbrakes, run around their train on the main line after getting permission of course, tie back onto the rear and back their train toward the industry and eventually into it. I'll do good right there, 9-4. Make it down, quick three-step CO, NS 9779. All right, you got three steps. Throughout this video, and while watching most freight railroad operations in the United States, you will hear the phrase three or three-step, which is short for three-step protection. This is defined by CSX Railroad as a procedure requiring the engineer to apply the train brakes, place the reverser in the neutral position, and open the generator field switch. This is done to protect any employee on the ground from the accidental rolling of a locomotive or consist before an employee is allowed to complete work between two rail cars. Right, 9 4, I'm up. SK 9 4, clear signal. Allison. And when you get down, this 
do right here, 9-4. Clear back here, at least 30. Now we got clear back here, Allison. Got you clear, 30. About 3 to the crossing. Alright, coming to you, clear 30, 3 to the crossing. Just about. I don't think they do it on weekends. I nine four, you drop three step for CEO and that's ninety seven seventy. All right, drop three step for CEO ninety seven seventy. All right, nine four. I'm up at riding. The Virgin Clear, Allison West. Got you clear back here. At least twenty five. About fifteen to the crossing. Virgin Clear, Allison West. Fifteen to the crossing. Clear twenty five. Coming to you. Scene two, we catch up with the action at milepost 23 at Capitol Building Supply where most of our switching will take place in this video. Now it's important to remember that this was shot on a completely different day with a different crew, different locomotive order, and different consist. So you'll see different rail cars in the mix which will make for some interesting switching. But before that, we'll watch an empty container well and spine car train in S24Q come barreling through.
paz. An EOT, or end of train device, with the characteristic flashing red light at the back, is used to transmit air brake pressure to the front end as well as other data. Since this yellow boxcar will not end up being the rear of the train by the time the train returns to Manassas, the conductor is currently removing that and will place it trackside until they've built their train fully. in that block. Allison and Delaplane behind that uh, 24 key. Roger, K-94, going to make a reverse move. Delaplane, Allison, main 100. 97-79, K-94, Mr. Make a reverse move in the block. Allison, Delaplane behind 24 key. Appreciate it. Start him up the hill, give you uh, about eight of them to a hook. Got it. All right, located okay, couple coming to you. Lined up this time with a couple come under. Any more slack? Yeah, any more slack. Uh, it was lined up this time, but the couple come under. If you want to hit it a little harder this time. 
The conductor has now reset the switch to the main line. They will back some of these empties down so that they can now access the loads and back them into the industry. He is now placing the end of train device, or EOT, at what will be the rear car of the train when they continue east back toward Manassas. Got a marker?
Negative. Well guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Really interesting to see the first and last mile of the delivery of a rail car. And that's pretty much what the industry is, is these delivery of freight shipments, bulk shipments in rail cars that are moving across the nation. I mean, these are thousands of these happen every single day uh, in the United States and worldwide. So that's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. All of those things really help the channel out. That's all from here in Northern Virginia. I'm going to leave you with a look at some kind of an eastbound freight that's coming by right now as I'm shooting this. So from Northern Virginia, be sure to stay safe. God bless and happy foaming.